We're here at Collider 2018 and we're joined by Contiki, who have just played on main stage. A group of six, and we've got all six with us yet, who are split between Leeds and Bradford. Can you introduce yourself and say what your role in the group is? I've got Mike. I'm Mike and I play the bass guitar. I'm Guy and I play drums. My name's Laurie and I play percussion. I'm Harry, I play saxophone. I'm John, I play guitar. I'm Sam, I play guitar and accordion and penny whistle. Oh, he's the winner there. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah! No, it's pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> and uh, have you had the chance to play at many festivals like this before? What's been your, as a punter as well as a performer, your perception of the festival so far? But, well, personally, the thing that I like the most about this place is the fact that the visual arts lineup is kind of given the same weight, weight as the as the, the musical lineup. So loads of festivals you go to, I've played in lots and lots of festivals where it's always an afterthought and someone maybe pays a bit of money to you know have their piece up or even yeah. just does it as a favour. Um, but here kind of they've really focused on the visual side of things and why you know, like it's what makes it. Really. If you had to like define your sound, oh, what genre of song? Like, <laughs> okay, you can do it vaguely, but what maybe some influences? How would you like? The heaviest Afrobeat grooves and a lot of uh, West African influenced guitar. It's, it's a guitar-based band, but with a lot of other stuff. Jazz, cool. lots of jazz. jazz. Now we've got no, no. Harry and his jazz guns yeah. on the game. Yeah, yeah. Lots of jazzy stuff. Funk as well. Funk, yeah. yeah it's cool. funk. It started off as a jam band. So a lot of the songs have been written out of jamming. A lot of the songs. So, yeah. Yeah. So, we, so we get together, start playing, and stuff happens. So yeah, yeah. Songs out of it. So Is there a lot of improvisation in the live performance? Not anymore. Well, Harry's doing Yeah, 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 yeah a fair bit for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing either. Oh, so and me as well. I make everything up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, so yeah, like 50-50. So it's worth yeah. saying that for, for about three years, we play, we didn't have any songs or material, we just play live improv all day. to release any material have you released do you want to say? yeah we've got uh, we did a session at what's the studio called Stonegate, Stonegate yeah. Studios which has actually just been built we were the first time in there a few months ago so we did a uh, um, just three tracks uh, with video and recorded but that was just as a four piece uh, so that was just bass drums guitar and percussion uh, so yeah we're looking to record as soon as possible and uh, get some of the material out now that we've got is uh, you know, there's now there's six of us. If any labels are watching, pay up. <laughs> <laughs> we want a publishing deal. <laughs> <laughs> and are there any other acts on the lineup you're looking forward to seeing? Children of Zeus. Yeah, yeah they're late, aren't they? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Bad boy, yeah. Hendron. Yeah, Hendron. Yeah, Hendron. Yeah, Hendron. Yeah, Hendron. Yeah, Hendron. The next I'd, band I'd like to see um, um, Hendron. No, no, I've got to go what, tomorrow, what but busy no, twisting. The um, next band. KOG. That'll be excellent. They've got loads of gear. There's laws, isn't there, really? Yeah. And there's one more question I'll ask, which we've asked everyone. I just might have to get an answer from all six of you. Would you rather? Try. Nah, it's one after <laughs> the other. Would you rather drown in a pot of hummus or in a pot of baked beans? Hummus. Easy. Hummus. Hummus. I can yeah, speak man. for everyone. Anyone else? Yeah, Anyone? Would you Harry? sink in hummus, though? That's true, yeah. You know how you can walk on custard? You might have to yeah. Yeah. You, reckon, you know you can no, walk on custard? No, but if you stood on custard, you'd still sink. No, 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 but powder no, custard, custard yeah, yeah, you run across it. Custard, custard like powder. Yeah. Are we talking powder, Syrian hummus or, hummus, hummus, hummus or Greek hummus? hummus or you're the first, you're the first person before. to bring custard into the Yeah, yeah. That wasn't shit. No, I know, yeah, I've gone off the track here. I'd rather drown in a bit of hummus. Because I don't think it would happen. Has anyone said that? Yeah, because you can walk on hummus. Has anyone said baked beans? Uh, yeah, loads of people, it's been like 50-50 split. Really? Oh, Tell me who the baked beans are. Because if they're though, cold, then people are sort of... Oh, oh no. no. That's worse, I'd rather drown in hot baked beans. Yeah. Really? <laughs> what? No, not hot. Li Scorched as well. Yeah, no, just like the edible temperature. Uh, if I was going to drown in any... Nice. If I was going to drown in any edible, I'd like You'd to choke, though, wouldn't you, on baked beans, really? Yeah. 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 So it's really a question of what's worse, choking or drowning. Yes. You've put that down to the proper basics of the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much Thank for sharing.